Hi guys, here's another page in my pocket page notebook. I've got this really cute photo. I really love this photo. That's me, my dad and my nana and we all met for lunch and um, those two love taking selfies just as much as I do. So obviously it's a family trait. And I've just grabbed a piece of paper that's cut to the right size for the insert of my pocket page there. And now I'm just going through um, an old Studio Calico kit um, looking for a journal card that I might be able to use as a title. And as you can tell from the title of this video, I end up using this We Are Magic one. So I really liked that. I thought it really went nicely with the photo. Um, and I just picked out another one to sort of back it with. And then I've grabbed some of the 4x6 papers that I bought with this kit as well. And I'm just picking out a couple that go nicely with the photo. And it turns out I'm going to use the lime green one and the pink one. So um, I really like the colours, even though it's lime green. So I'm going to um, tear this paper really carefully. And I want to tear two strips. But um, you can see I'm being careful to tear it so that the white tear is showing. So I'm peeling it sort of up. And I'm going to line the top and bottom of these pages with this torn paper. So I'm starting with my insert and I'm just going to um, glue that along the bottom and then I can trim off the excess. And then I'm going to do the same with the actual page of the pocket page notebook. So that gives me a little line of paper across the bottom. And then I'm going to use the pink. I'm going to do the same technique of tearing, but I'm going to make the torn strips just slightly larger. And I am lining them up so that where they'll join in the middle, they are sort of the same size. I think that looks best. Um, and just to add a bit of texture, I've just run it through my sewing machine so that it looks like it's stitched, but I don't actually have to stitch my pocket page notebook. Now the torn pieces from the bottom paper, I'm going to use just a tiny peek of that at the top as well, just to um, bring those colours together a bit. So I'm just, I trimmed those down into two strips and then I'm just gluing them behind the pink strip, just so there's only just a tiny little peek showing. And then I can glue that onto my paper insert at the top and the same onto the actual pocket page. So I can glue those on and then just trim that excess off. And that's basically my page finished. Not going to add a lot more to this page. I'm trying to keep these notebooks a little bit flatter because I do find that some of the um, some of the pages I do, some of the designs I do um, get a bit bulky. I decided to swap out the card that I was backing the title with. Um, and found this sort of darker purple colour, which I didn't think would go, but actually there's, um, my nan is wearing that same colour in her cardigan, so it actually went really nicely with the photo, so I decided to add those two. Stick them onto my insert, and then I can stick down the photo just to match it, so it's the same height. Um, and then I couldn't really work out what else I was going to do from there. I wondered about those word strips, but I really don't like them. There was these really cute, um, like, die-cut washi tape um, in the kit as well. Um, so I went through those and added a few of them that are in the same colours that I used. Both on the left-hand page and on the little insert. I did add one black one. And then I added the pink one down there and I just, I wasn't super happy with it. And as I went to f close up the um, washi tape, I realized there was this cute little diamond and that brought that teal color onto that side of the page, which I really liked. And I went to do some journaling and I couldn't work out where. I hadn't really left a space for it at all. So um, I had initially thought to put it down the side here and then wondered about maybe under the photo. But in the end, I just went with down the side again. There's not a great deal of room there, but I did manage to squeeze it all in. And then once I slip this insert in, that is my page all done. If you're anything like me, you've got a huge excess supply of these um, Project Life journal cards, and popping them in your traveler's notebook is a really great way to use them up. If you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!